Welcome to my channel Living Linux. Today I will try to flash another Android image on my Mikotronics with the Rockchip RK3588. So when you send an email to sales at mikotronics.com they can supply you with new images and also the Rockchip upgrade tool. So first you have to install the driver. That's not really that hard. Just uh, start it and then install driver. Well, I already installed it so I don't need to do it again. Um, perhaps just to be sure with drivers, perhaps it's better to reboot Windows after that. So once you have installed the driver, you can start the tool. And well, when you're not Chinese, um, then probably it's better to change the config.ini file. There are two language files. The first one is Chinese, second one is English. So when you prefer English, then you probably better change this into two, the selected, just change it to two. So when you start the tool there, then go to upgrade firmware and select the firmware file. So in this case, this is Android 11. And now it says no devices found. That's correct. So what we have to do is here we have the Mikrotronics box. So um, this is the back side, so this is where the power is. But when you take the other side, um, there's two USB-C ports. Uh, one is for debugging. You don't need to use that one, so you need to choose the Type-C port next to the regular USB 2.0 port. So that's what we'll do. We'll connect it. And we need to connect power. Now where did I put the power? And now here comes the trick to... So here it says found one ADB device, but then that's not the mode to upgrade. Um, so in between the uh, USB ports, uh, there are some recessed buttons. So what I did is just uh, Bend the paper clip so the recessed button uh, closest to the USB 3.0 port. Press and hold it, and then press the other button uh, in between the 2.0 ports. Uh, whoops. So first the one next to the USB 3.0 port. Oops. And then press the other one just one time, hold the other one still. Well, that's not what it should do. That's what we like to see. Found one loader device. 
and that's when you can do the upgrade so here you see the percentage and it goes quite quick and I also tried to flash the Debian image but that doesn't work for me so far so I'll try to get in touch with Mikotronics and try to figure that one out. But first we'll test the Android 11 image because the Play Store should work. So now it's set. 65% and after that it jumps to 100 well I don't mind that so we can unplug the USB cable from the laptop and Let's see, when we connect the HDMI cable and here you see that Android has been installed so I'm going to connect my PlayStation controller and we need Ethernet or Wi-Fi but in my case I just connect through Ethernet so here you see that Ethernet is connected and as you can see this is a clean install and all my previous games and apps that I installed are gone of course so now we start the Play Store and it will try to log in so I'm not gonna show you my password so <laughs> This is just the video to show you how to flash a different Android image. Um, it does support over the air support, uh, sorry, over the air updates. Uh, but since this is a complete different version from the original, I think the Android 12, uh, that's when you have to use the uh, rock chip tool to flash a different image. Uh, so, but after this um, you should be able to get the over-the-air updates for this Android version and as I said before I will try to contact Mikotronics and s try to figure out what I'm doing wrong with the Debian image so that's all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video